Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many React developers encounter when deploying their applications. Our viewer is experiencing issues with their React app after moving it to an Apache server. They have their production files in the htdocs directory, but when they try to access certain routes, they run into a not found error. Let's break down the situation and find out what might be missing in their Apache configuration. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. To set up your Apache server for React routing, we need to ensure that Apache can handle client-side routing correctly. First, let's configure the .htaxs file in your public directory. This htaxs file tells Apache to redirect all requests to index.html, except for requests for existing files or directories. This is crucial for React Router to work properly. Next, ensure that the Apache module for URL rewriting is enabled. You can do this by running the following command in your terminal. After enabling the module, restart Apache to apply the changes. Use the command shown on the screen. Finally, test your application by navigating to your React app in the browser. When you click on links and refresh the page, it should now work without any errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set up an Apache server for React routing, the key is to handle resource requests correctly. Instead of returning a 200 status for missing files, we want to return a 404 error when resources like CSS or JSON are missing. Browsers request HTML when navigating to a page, but they ask for different content types for resources after the initial load. By checking the type of resource requested, we can configure Apache to serve the single page application only when necessary. Here's a sample Apache configuration. It uses rewrite rules to serve the index.html for non-existent URLs while ensuring that missing resources return a 404 error. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set up an Apache server for a React application with multiple sites and SSL, you need to configure a virtual host. This includes specifying the server admin, server name, and document root. Make sure to enable URL rewriting. This allows the server to serve the React app for non-existing routes, ensuring that users see the app instead of a 404 error. Don't forget to set up SSL certificates using CertBot. Include the SSL configuration in your virtual host settings to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Finally, ensure you log errors and access requests for better monitoring of your server's performance.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To set up an Apache server for a React app using Browser Router, you'll need to configure the httpd.conf file. Start by defining a virtual host on port 3000 and set the document route to your build folder. Inside the directory directive, set cache control to no cache and use fallback resource to point to index.html. This ensures that all routes are handled correctly. For static files, set cache control to public with a max age of one year. This helps with caching for better performance. Make sure to place the httpd.conf file in the correct directory and adjust paths if your build folder is located elsewhere. If you want to serve gzipped files, consider removing the request header edit line and add an output filter for compression. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To set up an Apache server for React routing on an Ubuntu server, start by opening the configuration file in the console. If you're using SSL, add specific lines to the configuration. Set the document route to your project directory. Next, configure the directory settings to enable URL rewriting for React routes. Finally, ensure the directory has the right permissions and options set. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To set up an Apache server for React routing, you'll need to add specific configurations to your .htaccess file. If you have multiple virtual hosts, navigate to the specific virtual hosts.htaccess file, add the lines, and then restart the Apache service. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.